You know, for people who've been looking at Thailand from outside, we've had uh, cycles of uh, elections and then uh, protests, uh, you know, and eventually military coup, and then the constitution election. So it's gone around uh, in this kind of uh, cycle for two decades now, 23 years since the time of uh, Thaksin Shinawat, when he became prime minister in 2001. His parties have won all the elections and he was kicked out. His sister also was kicked out in 2014 coup and then uh, their parties were dissolved twice. So we've been kind of stuck in this toxin, anti-toxin cycle. Now, with the Move Forward Party's victory yesterday, the Thai people have spoken up for change and, and reform. Because this party is unlike the Thaksin party. First of all, it's not aligned to Thaksin. It has a very different agenda. It's not a populist party per se. It wants uh, institutional reforms of Thailand traditional institutions. And those are the military, the monarchy, judiciary. This is, uh, for them, the root cause of Thailand's crisis over the last two decades. Will move forward, in your opinion, form a coalition with Putai? I mean, as the largest winning party, they should have an opportunity, like most other parliamentary democracies, to form a government. But, you know, we have a coalition uh, equation to, to, to consider here. Uh, it depends on whether they can form enough uh, MPs, uh, you know, get enough MPs to form a, a majority in the lower house. It could be that the margin, you know, we saw in 2019, the Thaksin party won the elections, but the margin was too close, so the second largest winning party behind General Payut formed the government. So we could see Per Thai maybe trying to outflank uh, move forward by forming a coalition without move forward. That could be possible, but you know, by all indications, I mean, move forward has a stronger mandate. So let's hope uh, that that mandate is manifest. Move forward does have a stronger mandate, but it isn't or doesn't prior Chanocha still have, and the conservative establishment still have a trump card in the form of the 250 seat uh, military appointed uh, Senate? And couldn't they just spoil any deal? Um, in the past, this was the idea. I mean, having the appointed Senate from the military government after the coup in 2014, this was the trump card, right? Because the Senate, one third of parliament, can choose prime minister. In other countries, we cannot do that. Uh, so this is how Prayut became prime minister again in, after the 2019 election. But now, with the Put Thai and the Move Forward numbers, very strong, they, they combine for more than half of the lower house, which means the Senate's uh, power to pick the prime minister has been diluted. They can pick a prime minister, but a prime minister without a majority in the lower house cannot legislate. So therefore, uh, I think the Senate has been um, moot, has been made moot uh, along the way. And also yesterday was a referendum uh, against General Payut. Uh, he was uh, marginalized. His party didn't win many, as many. And so, you know, no, no mandate for him to form any kind of government with the Senate help.